Welcome guys back to Home on the Range, take two. Today, we're actually gonna dive into what this channel is supposed to be. First video, kind of a go around, trying to figure this whole YouTube thing out. Today, here's what we're gonna be doing. So we have a TV, it's up on the wall. Looks pretty decent, but there's nothing underneath. So what we're trying to do is figure out what can we put there? It's obviously kind of a weird space. So what we're gonna do is say, well, screw it. Let's build it. Master designer. <laughs> what are we building? Okay, so. Okay, so. This is kind of what I was thinking from the top. And if we wanted, we could do like our desk. And then I'd probably want at least two rows, if not maybe a third. <laughs> so, here's what we gotta do first. We gotta measure. We gotta draw. Let's get to work. Two minutes on the video, two minutes worth of time. You can have everything drawn out. Let me show you what we got here. I'm pretty excited. Look at this artwork. All right, so we got somewhat of a build list. We need some two by two, some two by fours, a couple one by sixes, and some one by twos. And this thing should come together. We're looking at the top. We're gonna make it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited. So I don't know. To me, it seems like it's gonna be pretty simple. We got our drawn out on paper. We did the math. A squared, B squared, C squared. Mr. Leighton, I remember. Good job. Um, well, we're going to put this together. I'm going to call it a night tonight. I'm going to get up early tomorrow morning. I'll see you guys then. And let's get to work. Big stretch. Come on. Want to make some coffee? Me too. Bold. That's how I want to start my day. Oh, holy smokes! <laughs> the heck was that? <laughs> Morning. Looking for inspiration right now. <laughs> Like part of me knows I should just get dressed right now and just head on over, go get some lumber. The other part of me goes is cold outside, crappy, winter time. We're gonna get there. We're there. All right, so today's video is sponsored by Tires and Smoke. So, <laughs> Nathan, you might not know, but you're actually sponsoring this video today. Um, this project is being brought to you by them because he very generously supplied us with a wide variety and range of pocket screws. Anybody knows, this is what makes the magic happen. It's what gets everything done. This whole row right there, Nathan said, hey, I got a bunch of them. I have no use for it. They're yours. So Nathan, Tires and Smoke, today, we salute you. So rule number one when we come to this store, don't get distracted. Go straight to what you need, get what you need, and then leave. Otherwise, you're gonna lose two hours of your day, you're gonna spend a lot more money than what you came in for. Done.
People are gonna watch this video and be like, man, you make her do everything, don't you? <laughs> All right, well obviously that didn't take long. For those of you who are like me and like, oh, I can make this work, well here's what we ran into. So my miter saw is not a sliding miter saw and it's not big enough to make this angled cut. So I'm like, well let me just take a jigsaw. Well, for those of you that are perfect with the jigsaw, kudos for this guy, son of a gun. Like I said, I don't have all the right tools. That doesn't mean I don't know people that do. Let's go fix this. Mark says, why do I need to lock my stuff up? Well, Mark, let me tell you. It's because you have brothers. Thank you, Sid. Let's get back to work. Let's try this again. with a little force and some wood glue. We got this. Okay, here's where we're at. It gives you a general idea of what Kayla wants for the top. Of course, she wants angles in there. Is it gonna come together perfectly? Heck no. None of these boards are even close to being square. So we're gonna make by what we can do. At the end of the day, I guess it's gonna work out better because we always want these things to look rustic anyways. So. Who makes things perfectly? Not here. Not on this channel. If you're looking for perfect and how to do this right, come to the wrong spot. But, if you're looking for an idea of what it might actually look like when you try it, keep watching. All right, check this out. Got an idea, and I just went and talked to the wife. We got her approval. Actually, she said, I really don't care. It's your decision. Well, guess what? Then we're gonna do it. Because why? I always like to make things harder than what they actually have to be. I don't want these boards to fit up perfectly. So I want to just put a little little gap between, not a gap. Let me, let me show you guys, I can explain it better. What we do is I have my router table set up so that we just kind of break the edge on one board, break it on the other when they butt up to each other. You got a nice little gap there. That looks pretty good. So, Fingers crossed, let's hope we don't screw anything up. All right, there we have it. Uh, honestly? I like it. I think I'm gonna hold off from doing one right down the center. Well, yeah, we'll just wait. All right, so this is a thought plan here. Just like everything, pocket screws hold stuff together. Now, if you guys have a better idea as to how we should join these together, comment in the comments, let me know. Maybe I'll use your idea next time, but as for right now, I'm gonna get this done. Okay, pocket screws, come into the rescue. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the sides, and hopefully we'll have a top. Look at that, woo, nailed it. My wife found my selfie stick, and it's coming in great right now. All right, so just like every project we do. I can't see your face. <laughs> Kayla Guess. has her doubts. So, she says, can we bring this in and put it where it's gonna go? Absolutely. In this corner. It's gonna go like this. It's gonna be good. Just like that. But. 
two and a half feet tall. But two and a half feet tall. You ever do something and not fully think it through? This is one of those moments. Now I'm easily going to be able to get some screws into this one, wide open. But as soon as we need to start closing this up, the drill fits, but that screw is going to spin out after. I don't know. I got this. Holy shnikes, it worked! <laughs> pretty. Now everybody knows. Classic farmhouse design right now. You gotta have some X's in there. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're done for today. You know when you said it's like, it's gonna be really big. <laughs> it is. I'm looking at it too now going like, oh, shit. Shit. that's really big. It's like a desk. It's like a freaking little desk. It looks like a desk because it's just like this. Right, we're gonna put shelves in there. Um, Should we bring it up and try and like put it in kind of? <laughs> Alright, with that all being said, we're done for today. We're nervous! It's big. It's really big. <laughs> Why didn't you try and stop me yesterday when we were measuring? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we're calling our quits here. That's enough work for one day. Stick around. It's going to get interesting. All of the money that we spend on toys for this dog, and she finds most pleasure in picking up a rock and rolling around the deck. <laughs> We're doing something wrong. <laughs>